नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श छु वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसायटी गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न स्टैंडर्ड टेन्थ मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर फोर्टीन स्टेटिस्टिक्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज स्टूडेंट्स यू मे नो द रिलेशन इन बिटवीन द मेजर्स ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी देर इज अंपेरिकल रिलेशन इन बिटवीन द मेजर्स ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी दट इज थ्री टाइम्स मीडियन इज इक्वल टू मॉड प्लस टू टाइम्स मेन थ्री टाइम्स मीडियन इज इक्वल टू मॉड प्लस टू टाइम्स मेन सो दिस इज द रिलेशन इन बिटवीन this measures of central tendency so do remember that will help us to solve short questions now the median illustration 8 the median of the data here the median is given in this data the median is given we have to find the unknown frequency x and y this frequency are unknown whereas the median is given and the total sum of the frequency is also given 100 total sum of the frequency is 100 median is given from this we have to find the uh, value of x and y that is missing frequency so first of all for median we have to prepare less than type cumulative frequency distribution so here less than upper boundary point that is how many what is the frequency for less than 100 so here less than 100 it is 2 Less than hundred frequency is two. Then less than two hundred. Less than two hundred means zero to two hundred. So that is two plus five. Two plus five. So here two plus five seven. Then less than three hundred. Less than three hundred means less than two hundred already seven is there. But two hundred to three hundred x is there. So here now it is seven plus x. Then less than four hundred. So less than three hundred it is seven plus x. Then three hundred to four hundred twelve, so plus twelve, so seven plus twelve, nineteen plus x, four hundred less than five hundred, that is plus seventeen, so we will get thirty six plus x. Then less than twenty, less than six hundred twenty, so it is fifty six plus x. Then here less than seven hundred y, so it is. Fifty-six plus x plus y. So less than seven hundred. So plus nine. So that is sixty-four plus x plus y. Then less than nine hundred plus seven. So it is seventy-one plus x plus y. And then here we go for less than one thousand. So here plus. Four. Uh, so here plus seventeen, thirty-six plus fifty-six plus y plus nine. So plus nine here it is sixty-five. Uh, that is sixty-five plus x plus y. Then less than seven, so it is seventy-two plus x plus y. Then less than thousand, uh, that is four plus four, so it is seventy-six plus x plus y. So here less than one thousand. That means the total frequency. So total frequency is seventy-six plus x plus y, and therefore we can have from this x plus y is equal to one hundred minus seventy-six, and therefore it is x plus y is equal to twenty-four. This is equation number one. So x plus y is equal to twenty-four is equation one. And here the median is five hundred and twenty-five. So now let us solve this. So here median is less than uh, median is five hundred and twenty-five. So how we have done median earlier that uh, when uh, we were asked to find median, so we used to find the median class that is by finding n by two value. Okay, but here n that is one hundred is given divided by two it is fifty. So here fifty, where fifty 
to many different frequency comes. We cannot decide because there are unknown frequency x and y. So we cannot find out median in that way. So whenever there is a missing frequency, we can find the uh, median class from median itself. So here median is given 525. So generally median lies in the median class. So 525 lies in which class interval? There, that is 500 to 600. So this is called median class. So here we can say S yes, median is 525 and therefore median class is here the class interval containing this value is 500 to 600 and therefore lower limit is 500 we need one thing we need here second thing we need is frequency of the class frequency of the class median class is 20 frequency is 20 and cumulative frequency of the class previous to the median class and that is 36 plus x that is we say x plus 36 or 36 plus x okay uh, then uh, we need uh, height n by 2 and height n by 2 is equal to 100 divided by 2 and that is 50 and the class width you can see the class width the difference between two consecutive upper boundary points or difference between two consecutive lower boundary points is 100 and so the class length is 100 and therefore we can say median is equal to using the same formula in bracket here you will get here uh, n plus here n by 2 in bracket n by 2 minus cumulative frequency here divided by frequency multiplied by class width so substituting the value here it is 525 median is equal to 500 lower limit plus in bracket n by 2 n by 2 is 50 minus cf minus 36 plus x divided by f that is 20 multiplied by multiplied by uh, class width that is 100 so therefore we can simplify here 525 minus 500 subtracting 500 is equal to we get this bracket here we can remove this bracket 50 minus 36 minus x divided by 20 multiplied by 100 so we can cut the common ones here you will get 5 so now therefore what is the 525 minus 500 we will get here uh, 25 25 is equal to this is 25 is equal to here 50 minus 13 36 that is 14 minus x multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 denominator 1 therefore we can get 25 is equal to here 14 fives are 70 minus 5x and therefore we can have therefore here 5x is equal to 70 minus 25 70 minus 25 and therefore that is 70 minus 25 that is equal to uh, here 45 and therefore x is equal to 45 divided by 5 and therefore x is equal to 9 5 ninja 45 so x is equal to 9 one answer we got it so we can calculate the other part here from equation 1 here I am sorry from equation 1 here it is given that x plus y is equal to 24 but here we got x is equal to 9 and therefore here 9 plus y is equal to 24 and therefore y is equal to 24 minus 9 and therefore y is equal to 24 minus 9 that is 15 so here y is equal to 15 and here x is equal to 9 so 9 and 15 are the two missing frequency uh, in this uh, data where the median is given so uh, this way we can s solve missing frequency for mode and mean also using the same formula of mean and 
mod. So we will continue now with exercise 14.2. Now let us start exercise 14.2. Now in exercise 14.2, question number 1, find the mode and the mean of the ages of the patients admitted in a hospital during the year. So here you can see the number of patients uh, here, the patients here admitted in a uh, hospital. So here. Uh, these patients admitted here, patients, these patients admitted having this various age group. You can see six patients were admitted during the year having age group 5 years to 15 years. 11 patients were admitted having age group 15 to 25 years. 21 patients admitted in this range and 5 patients admitted here. Uh, having age group 55 to 65 years. So here the patients are admitted in a hospital during the year. Our question is to find the mod and median, uh, find the mod and mean of the ages of the patient admitted in a hospital during the year. So here, uh, first of all, we have to go for the class mark. We have to find the class mark to find mean. So class mark means middle central value or the middle value of class 5 plus 15 20 20 divided by 2 so the mid value here 10 15 plus 25 that is 40 40 divided by 2 that is 20 as you can see the class length here what is the class length class length is equal to or class width you can see the difference between two consecutive upper bounded points or lower bounded points is 10 and so that is 10. So now we can add 10 here 30, 40, 50, 60. So we get the class length or the uh, sorry, central value or the class mark in this way. Now we have to calculate assumed mean. Uh, we have to go for step deviation so for that we need assumed mean. So we can consider the assumed mean here middle value 30 and 40 so we can consider any suppose here we say assumed mean is 40 let assumed mean is equal to a and that is 40 and here width is 10 so we can calculate any observation minus assumed mean divided by class length or class width so here each of these observations so minus 40 so 10 minus 40 negative 30 divided by 10 so we will get negative 3 20 minus 40 20 minus 40 that is negative 20 divided by 10 so negative 2 as here you can see equal class length so here we will get negative 1 0 here assumed mean 40 so for that deviation would be 0 then 1 and then 2 now we have to calculate FIUI that is product of frequency and the deviation, step deviation. 6 3s are negative 18, 11 2s are negative 22, 21 1s are negative 21, 23 0s are 0, 14 1s are 14 and 5 2s are 10. So here sigma fi ui is equal to what is the total sum negative 18 negative 22 negative 21 we can add the negative value and the positive value and then add them finally we get negative uh, 37 so this is here uh, sum of fi ui so now we can find mean so how to find mean using formula step deviation here we are following and so we have to use step deviation method uh, formula that is uh, assumed mean x bar here uh, x bar mean therefore mean is equal to here formula is uh, we can say assumed mean plus sigma fi ui divided by sigma fi multiplied by 
plus width. So therefore, mean is equal to here assumed mean is uh, 40 plus sigma fi by negative 37 divided by sigma fi that is 80 multiplied by 10 0 0 but we get therefore x bar is equal to 40 minus 37 by 8 so that is 40 minus 37 by 8 what we, we can convert it into decimal 37 by 8 we can get here 4.625 and therefore the mean is uh, 35.375 so this is the average uh, age average age of the patients admitted in uh, hospital during the year average age of the patients here we got average mean now we have to calculate mode also here it is asked to calculate mode so for the mode we need to go for only uh, model class we have to here we know these two things that is class and the patients data given from this we will come to know here the highest frequency highest frequency is 23 so now for mode for mod, we will go for highest frequency. Highest frequency is uh, 23, and therefore, this frequency lies in this age group of the patients, and therefore, model clash. Therefore, model clash is equal to 35 to 45 and from this we can get the lower limit of this is 35 lower limit is 35 and we know uh, here width also uh, is uh, 10 already we have calculated earlier so now we want frequency so here therefore f0 that is frequency f1 f1 is the frequency of the model clash and that is 23 similarly F0 that is frequency of the class previous to model class that is 21 and F2 that is the frequency of the class next to the model class that is 14 and so this is 14 so we got the frequency here so using this fact therefore we can find mod denoted by Z what is mod? mod is equal to here uh, first of all lower limit plus F1 minus F0 divided by 2 times f1 minus f0 minus f2 multiplied by class width so substituting the value here mod is equal to first of all here lower limit it is uh, here 35 that is 35 plus in bracket f1 f1 is 23 23 minus F0, 21, divided by 2 times 23, that is F1, 2 times 23, minus F0, 21, minus 14, that is F2, multiplied by class length, that is 10. So now, calculating this, therefore, mod is equal to 35 plus, here, 23 minus 21, that is 2 multiplied by 10 divided by if you calculate here 46 minus 21 minus 14 that means here we will get 2 by 11 multiplied by 10 so now simplifying this here we will get uh, 20 by 11 and 35 we can take LCM also that is 385 plus 20 divided by 11 and that is we say here 405 divided by 11 so 405 divided by 11 and therefore mod is we can calculate 405 divided by 11 that is we get here 36.818 and so on and so approximately it is 36.81 this is the mod that means maximum number maximum 
number of patients admitted in a hospital having this age group. So here mod means maximum number of patients admitted in the hospital having age group 36.81 in years approximately. Whereas mean means 35.375 years average. This year's average patients were admitted in a hospital. Thank you for joining us.